All right, guys, let's talk about text fills. You may want to do this for one of your projects. So just get a file new 8x10 up on your screen and we will talk about text fills. The first thing you want to do is just grab some text and do some horizontal text. And um, you just want to pick something that's pretty wide. And we will call this first one gradient fill. And I am going to make it a little bit larger. Let's do 60. Cool. All right, gradient fill. So the first step I'm going to do is create the text. Then I'm going to come down to the layer style palette down here, FX. And I'm going to choose gradient overlay. And then as you can see, um, the default gradient was here, but I can click on my gradient and, ch and choose any color under the sun. So again, I come over here where it says gradient, I can hit the baby arrow and choose from there, or I can literally click on the gradient and get my gradient editor to come up. And I can make whatever sort of gradient I want. I can even adjust the angle or the scale of the gradient. And I hit OK. Awesome. The next one I'm going to do is pattern fill. So I'm going to get a new layer. And we're going to write the word pattern fill. Awesome. So step number one, create the text, pattern fill. Step number two, open an image to use for texture fill. So command O to open. Let's pick something that we can use for texture. You can pick anything out of your pile. I'm going to choose astronaut. You can select part of the photo or the whole photo. Um, I'm just going to grab my marching ants and come around part of the astronaut. So I'm selecting part of it. And then I'm going to go up to edit define pattern. Edit define pattern. I'll give it a name, Spaceman, and hit OK. And then you need to close the image you used for your pattern. And then um, step number seven, on your text document, click the layer style FX icon. So I'm on pattern fill. I'm going to come down to FX. And I am going to choose pattern overlay. And you can see right now the pattern overlay that's sort of the default is this like um, leaf pattern. If I click on this smaller arrow right here, you can see that there's trees, there's grass, there's water. These are all default patterns. And then here's my little spaceman, my astronaut that I chose. So I'm going to pick on, on my astronaut. And then I'm going to scale them down to a smaller size. So I have a pattern of little astronauts. And then I'm just going to hit OK. And there's my pattern fill. Last but not least, we're going to do the image fill. So again, I click on um, T for text. And then I'm going to just type in image fill. And move it over. Awesome. So step number one, create text. Step Number two, select text by doing command click on the icon of the layer. So we're going to come over to where it says image fill over here on the icon and then we do command click. And as you can see, I have marching ants up around my um, image fill letters. Uh, step number three is to open the image that you want to fill it up with. So command O to open. I will take the space shuttle. And um, then I'm going to select all, command A. Command C to copy, Command W to close my window, and then edit, paste special, paste into. Edit, paste special, paste into. And it's going to paste it into um, my image fill. You can see over on my layers palette that I just made a layer mask. Um, the spaceship is small, so I'm going to do a Command T to stretch it out to get it to fit on my screen. 
and then a check mark and that's an image fill so that's um, gradient fill pattern fill and image fill these give you some other options of things that you can do in Photoshop so that your text isn't just plain old boring text um, once you've completed those three tasks you're going to do a shift command E to merge all visible layers and then a file save as you will save this as text fills and give it a name your name Save it to the desktop so you can find it before you upload it to Schoology as a JPEG. And that is text fills. Thanks, guys.